Hey team, today we have a quick video about Ron Muk, the featured artist at the Modern Art Museum of Fort Worth, where he has an exhibition today on Studio 214. Be ready, grab a breath. Give me a hell, give me a yeah! Let's be right now! The new works by Ron Muke showcase six major sculptures created between 2008 and 2018. These sculptures can take up to a year to create and are exacting in their detail, except in one regard, size. Ron Muke uses size to help tell the story of his pieces. You guys, these pieces are super cool. The scale of the large ones is amazing and the delicate features of the smaller ones are compelling. Like this one, for instance, titled Woman with Shopping from 2013. Look at the haggard look on the mother's face, slumped over and seemingly defeated, arms full and baby in coat. This sculpture is less than four feet tall, and the size is used to show the fragility and subtle strength of women. In an awesome juxtaposition, check out this lovely real scene of this elderly couple titled Couple Under an Umbrella from 2013. The attention to detail is exacting. You can see that these people share a tender moment and the viewer can enjoy watching them enjoy each other. And then the sheer size of these sculptures comes into play. These guys are huge. The folds of skin shaped by the hand of the other caressing and supporting. Everything is done with such attention to the detail. I really like the woman's foot. I don't know why. Maybe I got a thing for feet. That's weird. But this isn't. This is super cool. This one titled Poke from 2017 is a naked dude holding a pole that arches way beyond his control and several times longer than he is tall. But then you get up close and realize this is a Wii N2. I'm not exactly sure what it is saying, but it was done with such detail that my seven year old son was grossed out by his booty. A fact he had no problems relating to a friend. <laughs> Next is Woman with Sticks from 2009. This one is small as well. A woman is seen arching her back carrying a large bundle of sticks and straining under the load. It is supposed to symbolize the burden placed on women. What do you see? And this one is called Drift. Just a dude floating on an air mattress on the wall. Not a care in the world. And yes, he is a small one as well. In real life, even up close, the man has a sense of depth that is hard to recreate outside of seeing the real thing. And then there is this chicken. It's huge, freaking huge. What do you expect from a former Muppet master? My inner gonzo is going weird. Last comes this sculpture. It's titled, untitled, that is to say, there isn't a title except to say that it doesn't have a title, and it depicts a seated woman. This is actually owned by the museum, and it's in its permanent collection. It is based on Ron Muke's wife's grandmother, and is just beautiful and so lifelike. You guys, you gotta check it out. Guys, gals, get to your local art museums and galleries. I can't tell you how much more impressive these sculptures are in person. They, this camera does them no justice whatsoever. They need to be seen in person to fully appreciate them. So go on, support your local museums and galleries. You might have fun. You might get outraged. And that's cool too. Trust me, Fort Worth Modern has some doozies. I hope this video inspired you. I hope it motivates you to go out and see the world and experience all that it has to offer. As for me, I'm going to the house. For Studio 214, I'm Greg. Thanks for watching.